Hello future billionaires, this is Aztec and this is the CSC. There's a lot to talk about guys, you're watching this because you're a Matic holder, I know, and you want some updates, I'm going to try to do this very quickly. We got some TA for you, we got an article from News BTC, uh, News BTC that recently came out, and I do want to say if you haven't watched my recent video, Why Matic Network Can Reach $10 in the Next Bull Run, you have to watch it if you're a Matic holder, because I have a ton of research in this video. And it's very bullish. It is speculative. Obviously, nothing I say in my videos is financial advice. Please follow me on my YouTube channel here and also on Twitter. That's where I spend most of my time. You can talk to me there. My Twitter handle is at circle underscore crypto. Now, this article is awesome. Um, it really goes over the main theme of what I want to talk about, which is Matic coming out with its mainnet, the staking, and the ability really to take Ethereum to the next level, which is mass adoption. But before we go there, let's go ahead and talk about the technicals. So I look at Matic on the weekly because I'm not, I really don't care too much about the ins and outs of every day in the price fluctuations. Uh, as you can see here, Matic is long-term very bullish. It's sitting in a ascending um, triangle here, and obviously it's extremely bullish. You can see that the Stokes recently gave us a buy signal on the weekly, so I really think in the near future we're gonna see Matic moving uh, much higher than it's currently sitting at. Uh, you also see that the MACD is showing a lot of buying pressure on the histogram where this green is showing and even the uh, the MACD itself is pointed upwards. The RSI is also pointed upwards on the weekly so everything looks amazing. The EMAs, you know, the 21 is above the 50. Uh, obviously the 100 and the 200 aren't showing on this weekly uh, because uh, Maddox pretty new to the charts so in general you know most all of this is bullish and I really think that we probably print upwards towards this um, resistance line around roughly 4.2 cents and I think if we break out I know there isn't a you know any historical data to give us an idea of where we could go uh, because Matic is new but if we take this level here and um, essentially, let me just show you. If you take this and move it over here, you can see that this would be the estimated uh, breakout. So the next resistance, if we broke out of this ascending triangle, would be roughly around 8.3 cents ish. So, um, you know, I'm not looking to trade this, but I do want to show you guys the technicals look very bullish. Now, onto the article. Um, yeah, it's an amazing article by uh, NewsBTC, and you have uh, the the person that wrote it, Samuel Wan. I just want to point him out. Now, I'll just jump into this. It's just a couple paragraphs, and then we'll just kind of hash it out like we usually do. It says, Matic Network, the Layer 2 scaling solution for Ethereum, revealed the results of their counter-stake testnet stress testing. Notice that this is just the stress testing. Um, it's the test net. So um, there's obviously more to come out of this because this is just the test. But it says over an uninterrupted two-month period, the team claims the network achieved speeds of up to 7,200 transactions per second. What's more, this occurred under decentralized conditions. So obviously, Matic... Um, you know the team under their testnet is already decentralized you know on the spectrum of decentralization it's pretty decentralized already and and with these testnet um, you know fairly decentralized I would say you know pretty well decentralized already uh, you know they're putting out 
transactions per second of 7,200. Obviously, uh, we we know that we should be able to do 16,000 uh, transactions per second uh, very soon outside of the test net, and um, you know a lot more to come. You know, with multiple side chains and all that. But anyways, the article says during stress testing, 122 validators were active and running validator sentry nodes, thus. The network was truly decentralized, ensuring reliable results. So 122 validators, uh, that's amazing. The blog post also stated that performance tweaks could result in even higher throughput upon mainnet launch. So a lot more to come. Um, now, I do want to skip past this and Let's see, this bodes well for Ethereum, which often draws criticism for its lack of scaling and low 15 TPS throughput. And with further Ethereum 2.0 delays, Maddox achievements could go some way towards thwarting the competition. Obviously, there is a lot of Ethereum killers that want to uh, compete and really kill Ethereum and take the dApps, take the power, the first mover advantage, all of that from Ethereum. But uh, Matic is here to save the day. Now, continuing, it says Matic Network is Ethereum 2.0 right now. As Buterin and the Ethereum community continue piling pressure on developers, Matic's recent achievements in launching, staking, and now concluding the counterstake testnet provides some relief. Which more, or what's more, rumors are circulating that the full Ethereum 2.0 launch, that is, the completion of all three phases is likely three to five years away. So, uh, you know, just to kind of touch on this, basically what they're saying is that Ethereum 2.0 will take, you know, it, there's really no, no one knows exactly when it's all going to be completed and at what time, but we do know that it's not anytime soon. So, Matic is actually available now and ready, and I'll kind of get into that with some tweets in just a second but to continue with that some have dubbed Matic as Ethereum 2.0 right now and with no other viable scaling solutions in sight it's a title that holds and I've said that forever guys you guys know I've, I uh, always say Matic is the only viable second layer solution the other uh, second layers are doing very well but you know their options and things that they want to do uh, are still going to take a lot of time to to create so that they can also help scale Ethereum. So Matic is really the only option at this point. And given recent price action, investors agree that Matic is capable of helping Ethereum overcome its performance constraints. So, you know, they kind of go over their own um, price action. I'll go ahead and link the article below so you can read all of the pieces that I didn't really get into. But in general, um, you know, Basically, Matic's ready, guys. Matic is ready. And I want to kind of touch over some of the updates here. So basically, Matic had an update blog, project update number 13. It says, announcing Matic's project updates 13 for insights into Matic's progress on our mission to scale the global blockchain ecosystem. We invite you to read our project updates covering all areas of our activities over the past month. And I'm just going to go over the highlights right here in this tweet. It says, um, Matic Network Staking Launch, APR still 53%. Guys, if you're not doing this, you're missing out. Uh, the APR is still 53%. So uh, even if you're not going to stake all of your Matic, uh, I would be staking a portion of it because, I mean, you can't beat 53% anywhere. Not DeFi, nowhere. So, uh, second point, deposits and withdrawals on the Matic mainnet. So, this is huge. Uh, also, uh, initiating large-scale development initiatives. This is also huge. This means that, you know, Matic's getting ready and pushing to do large-scale type uh, developer movements. You know, they're looking for developers, essentially, that that are ready to use this technology and basically take Matic and Ethereum to the next level using their dApps and their scaling um, 
technology. Now, also, we welcome Neon District RPG. This game, I haven't got too much into it, but the artwork looks amazing. Um, it's something I do want to touch on soon. Matic listing on ZebPay. That's awesome. And Matic withdrawals and deposits on Wazir X India and Coin DCX. So th those are just some of the highlights. Obviously, there's a lot more that is within this blog, but um, I mean, that's the gist of it. And uh, just going, looking over some of these tweets, uh, here's another exchange that will be listing Matic. This is actually a Korean exchange. Obviously, the Korean market is huge, and uh, this is pretty exciting to see that Matic will be listed within the Korean market. Um, or at least a good, a great exchange within the Korean market. Uh, Chandresh said this recently. I wanted to point out. It says second layer, not second best. With Matic Network 7.2 TPS, all the current pending 133,000 transactions in the Ethereum network can be cleared in less than 20 seconds, and with negligible fees. We are ready to power the Ethereum ecosystem. So the Matic team is out there basically telling the entire ecosystem, the Ethereum ecosystem, that, hey, uh, we don't need to have all these crazy fees that are happening right now. And, you know, the transactions can be done on the second layer extremely fast. So obviously, guys, dApps are going to be moving over like crazy over to Matic soon. You're going to be seeing a lot of uh, updates there. And, um, you know, so much more to come. My buddy here, uh, he's actually uh, Cryptomaniac82. He's on Twitter. He's actually doing a giveaway here. So you if you follow me, you could uh, find this. I retweeted this. And I'm just trying to see if there's anything else. Uh, obviously, there's a lot more, but I just wanted to kind of give you the gist of things and tell you guys that there's a lot going on. You know, more dApps are jumping on board, and Matic's ready. Matic is ready to take on these dApps that, and scale and make everything more affordable so just look out guys I mean this this could be I mean to kind of tie it all together you're looking at if if uh, we get what my chart is showing us we're looking at about a 274 percent increase and that could happen soon especially with everything that's popping off especially with all the fundamental fundamentals lining up Max ready guys never give up on the future of money take it easy guys